Hi, my name's Ben, and today we're gonna to look at G major. And the great thing about G major is it's the same as F sharp major. So before we go any further, check out the F sharp major scale that I posted a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so so far we've covered F major, F sharp major, and today we're gonna to do G major. We're still gonna operate within the first five frets. That's one, two, three, four, five. We're not gonna go outside of this fret here at all. F major went like this. F sharp major went like this. And with G major, all we're gonna do is we're gonna move the F sharp scale and we're gonna move that up by one semitone to there. So for G major, you start the scale with this finger. And we start on the third fret there. So one, two, little finger on there. Again, so this is exactly like F sharp. Next fret. And then at this point, we're gonna go up all the way, which is here on the fifth fret here, back down. Now, when I introduce the rule of going all the way up and all the way down, we've gone from here, we've hit G there, but then we're gonna go down all the way, which is to there. And then technically an E would be next. So if you want to include the open E string in the G major, that's up to you. So it would go. And then that would be the full scale. Okay, so here's G major at 120 BPM, downbeat of the first crotchet of every bar. Nice and slow to start off with. One, two, three, four. Okay, same thing at 120 BPM, but the downbeat on the crotchet or the quarter note of every bar. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm 120 BPM, but on the eighth note or the quavers um, of every downbeat. So one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. One, two, three, four.
Same again at 160. One, two, three, four. Same again at 180. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred BPM. One, two, one, two, three, four. Little bit more difficult at 240 BPM. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Two eighty, one, two, one, two, three, four. And three hundred BPM. One, two, one, two, three, four. By now you'll notice that as you approach 300 BPM, the clarity of the scale starts to go off. It just takes a lot of work, that's all. As an exercise to just keep going up and down a scale, I think it's pretty good practice. Not just as a mental skill in terms of your knowledge of the scale, but also the physical skill of doing it quickly with clarity. Anyway, good luck. Mm -hmm.